Max mentioned that we have test at the end. Yes. So yes. get your pencils and your pens. It's time for the test. So this is one thing I was thinking about while the other presentations were going on. And this is the one I didn't present because it's more specific just to the state parks themselves. So why? It's hard to see. I think I maybe mean, I'm just like distorted or it's an old picture or something. But has anyone ever noticed the water being brown? I was kind of looking for it today. Not today. Not today so much. We got a nice clean looking water out there. Maybe out towards some of the rocks on the coast there might be a little bit of murky looking water. You mean not, not this gray that comes up this kind not of orange? Yeah. Well that's part of it too. But, part okay. of it, but so I know the, what you mean. It looks kind of green and yeah. brown. So the question is why is the water brown? And the answer is... They didn't change their wetsuit. What do you tell it? What do you tell the people? Oh, that's just runoff. <laughs> Haven't have got a clue. That's a plankton bloom. Or what you're seeing out there is the start of our ocean's food chain. So which of these answers is the interpretive way of answering the question? Who is, which one's making a connection and provoking the people and potentially relating? So, which one? Because it's the long-worded one? It's this one. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I answered it. Yeah, so this one's accurate. This one might be accurate. Completely off, most likely. Well, depending on the season. And, but this one here kind of is a, is a hook. It's a, it's a way for you to engage your audience and uh, get, get things going. So, the north wind creates the upwelling. That brings up the nutrient-rich water off the bottom. There's a whole lot that we can talk about with that and how the wind chops away the water, allowing that, that lower water to come to the surface. The plankton then feed off of that and then boom, all of a sudden there's just this brown murky water right off the coast. And that is then triggering other life which can feed off of it, which can feed the bait balls, which can feed the whales, which then feeds eternity, you know, so it's a cycle. So that's the way, one way you could word the answer. Anyway, that's your test. <laughs> Hopefully, it's still okay, but. <laughs> so, so, what are you saying is made out of that? Are you saying it's made of nutrients or are you live? Or what are you saying? The, the brown water the brown is, is actually the plain ash. So, it's live? It is live. Yeah. Oh, really? So, yeah, why is it brown? It's because there's a plankton bloom happening. So, it, I mean, if we're in a rainy season, and I've seen like off the mouth of the Rogue River, and it kind of goes down towards Kissing Rock, it's just this brown, you know, violet plankton. Oh, or so it's like an orphan, but could be either. I mean, you know, you know, so basically it's just the. Uh, okay, the violet plankton is being green, you know, not brown. Well, there, there's different, you know, there's brown algae. And yeah. red algae, so red algae bloom creates like the toxins in the water. So, um, but as Tom was kind of saying, like basically when you look at plankton, there is you break it into the the, the plant side of it or the animal side, so the phyto or the zo. Um, but these these rockfish, when they're first born, are considered plankton. So if you go and you look at you know, what plankton actually is. It's, it's a life form that has no control over its like, movement. So it relies on currents, so in this case water currents, to take it and transport it where it goes. Uh, and then as it grows, potentially grows in size, there's plankton, uh, when I'm told, like in the Mary Seas and stuff like that, they're per measure up to 10 feet in size. Yeah. Love, love, love yeah. But they have no way to control their own movement, so they're considered plankton. They just rely on drift. So that's what plankton is. It's, oh. it's, an, it's a life form that has no way of controlling its own movement. Is it those little balala balalas? Well, they, they're they kind of sailor by the wind. Yeah. Sailor by the wind. Yeah. They have more than one wing in them, aren't they? Uh, no, they're, they're, just like, they're, type, they're not even really a jellyfish. They're kind of their own yeah. little thingy dang. There's yeah. a lot of life. <laughs> but, yeah. But yeah. But anyway, I guess I was just kind of bringing that up. Um, you know, it, it, it can stimulate a lot of conversation. You can see it right there. So, so the work that you're about to do and, and 
and stuff, it, you know, you don't have to be an expert in every single component of everything that you're hearing about. So like, we, we're trying to just get uh, more exposure and more <coughs> recognition and outreach to the marine reserves. Um, and, uh, it, you know, so Jeanette's going to, you know, come back together, I think, with you guys and, and give you, like, some nuts and bolts on, like, here's how your day could start, you know, here's what we're looking for, for shift rotations and stuff like that. Um, and have, have you, so you guys, I mean, I realize that you guys have all talked to Jeanette over emails or phone or something. Oh, yeah? I've okay. talked to her on the phone. Oh, okay. Yeah, but okay. That's not a question. Mostly email or all email? Okay. Well, you talked about like, when you were available. I didn't. You, yeah. You, you know that. We kind of made up a draft uh, volunteer position description. So hopefully she might have passed that on to anyone. Or no. Okay. Well, yeah. So uh, there, there's going to be certainly some follow-up to do uh, to this. But uh, but you know what? What is your? You guys did sign in on the the register that Tom passed around. Okay, yes, card. we have everybody's. Okay, and then there's another woman for sure, Teresa, and Chris is here, but he's kind of scattering around. Um, that'll be involved. So we, we know there's at least uh, five, which is a great starting point, you know. And there's cool. another gentleman named Dave Bassett. He uh, said he wanted to participate. So there's, you know, five to six to seven or more. Um, so were you guys thinking like you were looking at time frame as like once a week? Or do you guys have any ideas? The email that she sent me, she said that it indicated that she would like at least eight hours a month from people. Right. It could be like two hour shifts or two four hour shifts. Right. Yes. So. Okay. Or right. in that seems to like like that time frame would work for us because we're mm -hmm. comfortable with that kind of a yeah. Okay. Yeah, eight hours is what I saw as well. I was just trying to figure out. Six people at eight hours or 48 hours for a month. Uh, uh, well, Jeanette herself will be participating. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, so she's going to be covering. And, and as I said, I'm not that familiar with the entire roster of who uh, did. I haven't, you know, we kind of, we hired Jeanette and we gave her like the a calendar of, uh, I can show you like our, uh, <coughs> I don't know if I can, I guess I can log up. We're at two o'clock, so I guess we have a little bit. Uh, it might take me a few minutes to find it. It's in an old email somewhere. Um, but, you know, basically, uh, I use AOL still. So old school. I am. This was, I had Hotmail.
Okay, so this is kind of what we were looking at doing today. So we did the movie, and then these were the types of things that Jeanette had, had forecasted out for us to do. Um, you know, we have the, that surfing and kayak there towards the end of recreation. Um, so there's some handouts in these different fields that, that Tom was covering that we didn't get to today. But, uh, but you know, you can kind of get a, a hand, a scope of what, what we were looking at there. So I think the majority of what's listed here was covered. Um, there, you know, so don't feel like you got cheated out of anything or anything like that. But, um, but you know, for, this is kind of like touching on part of the question, but now after like soaring through all that information there, the question was more like I asked the question about how much hours are you interested in and now we're looking at. So, um, you know, we, we basically were hoping for five days a week out there on you know, having a presence and four hours uh, a day of that. So our, my understanding still is that there'd be like either an a.m. p.m. type shift or like an all day kind of shift. So that'd be like a four hour block. And no one's expecting anyone just to stand out and, you know, if it became foggy and uncomfortable, you know, there could be some time inside back and forth or just call it a day, I'm sure. But, you know, um, Jeanette will, will want to get with you guys on on that. Well, most of the traffic is going to be on the weekends, isn't it? Or is it? It's pretty much year-round. I mean, yeah, a week of, once after like 4th of July through September, it's every day. I mean, that's not like just a bustling, you know, mecca right now, but I, you'll, you'll see me down there too. Like, you know, they say you're like a jack of all trades and you live in a small town. So I actually clean the bathroom down there for the city. And I'll tell you from May through September, I do it twice a day. And in about a 14 hour period, they'll go through every single square of toilet paper that's put out. So it is very, very busy well, you for it all day long. Yeah, I can that. It gets yeah. used a lot. It, it gets used a lot. Yeah, okay. I clean it usually between 7 and 7 30, and then between 5, and mm -hmm. if I can even get in there at 5. Sometimes it's just so busy I can't even get in there, so I don't even come back till dark. But it's, uh, it, it's a challenge, you know. I mean, there's a lot of movement down there. So I don't think you're going to have any problem finding people. Um, but, you know, just kind of keep that in mind, like, you know, that people are there just to kind of, for five, ten minutes, maybe at the most, maybe a little longer, and, you know, they want to see other things besides, you know, You're just, top, right? you know, yeah, so, <laughs> I don't know snapshot, you know, kind of stuff, and, you know, and, and, and so the walk away here, you know, is hopefully you have some exposure to all this, um, but, you know, no, one, no one's like, you should have your talk ready tonight, you know, so be, you know, get you know, get that together, and I think as a group, you guys will come together and like talking to, talking points and things like that. Um, so hopefully that helps. Yes. Okay, we are going to call it a wrap. For some field trip time, maybe.